Our next presenter is the bigger-than-life star of such blockbusters as The Terminator, Total Recall, and True Lies. But ladies and gentlemen, to me, he'll always be just my lifting buddy down at the gym. <laughs> Please welcome one of the most popular film actors on the planet and the only man named Schwarzenegger ever allowed to sleep in Ted Kennedy's guest room, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Irvin Falberg Award honors people who have devoted their lives to producing movies of lasting value. It's named after a man who presided over a vast studio during Hollywood's golden age. This year, for the first time, he goes to an actor-producer, a man who presides over his own very small company. In the last three decades, he has made 35 films through it, starting in 33 of them and directing 20 of them himself. Two years ago, he won Oscars for Best Picture and Best Direction. It's tempting to say that over the years, he has created an institution. Except that these days, there are very few institutions as widely respected or as affectionately regarded as the one we know as Clint Eastwood, especially by me. He was my boyhood idol. And now I'm proud to say he's my dear friend. There are very few filmmakers who have created a body of work that has given us so much pleasure or stands up so well. It's a hell of a thing killing a man. You take away all he's got and all he's ever gonna have. Yeah. Well, I guess they had it coming. We all have it coming, kid. I'd like to find out what's underneath the front you put on. Maybe you wouldn't like what you'd find. Bang! I'm Red Stovall. And I'm here to do a few songs for you and uh, pass the hat. So, uh, you got any requests? Just sound them out. Play Misty for me. Gotta get back to Barbarine. Say a prayer for me, will you? I would. I have no idea what you want. When's your birthday? I don't know. Geez, what kind of child did you have? Short. You're wanted, Wales. I reckon I'm right popular. You a bounty hunter? Man's yeah, got to do something for a living these days. Diane ain't much of a living boy. <laughs> Nothing like a nice piece of hickory. <coughs> so we come to the end of our show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being so kind to us. I've got a special message for you little partners out there. I want you to finish your oatmeal at breakfast and do as your mom and pa tell you, because they know best. Don't ever tell a lie and say your prayers at night before you go to bed. And so, as our friends south of the border could say, Adios, amigos. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Clint Eastwood.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Uh, was I in Austria 45 years ago? No, I don't think so. Anyway. Uh, thank you, Arnold. Uh, this is heavy, I got to tell you. You're probably the only guy who can haul this for me. I'd like to thank the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences for this wonderful award. Um, you know, I look back through the, uh, over the years of, of the uh, recipients of this since 1937, and I see uh, Daryl Zanuck and the great Hal Wallace and uh, William Wyler and Billy Wilder and uh, Alfred Hitchcock and Stevens, all these people that I grew up idolizing. They were my boyhood idols as far as filmmakers, and uh, a lot of them were directors, producers, and, and just straight producers, and uh, they were experts. These people had a great influence, and they were experts in a uh, business that has very few experts, really. In fact, if anybody asks me about making films, I would say that, that um, it's probably a little expertise and a lot of luck. Now, how I fit into that equation, well, if, if Dirty Harry, if I was in his sights and he said, do you feel lucky? I'd say you're damn right I do. Thank you. Thank my family. Thank everyone. Welcome, please. Three-time Academy Award nominee and Oscar winner last...